What's up, guys? So it's been a while. I really haven't been posting much. I never really am someone who posts a lot of videos, but I was really thinking that I was going to be busy this year and that I'd be posting a lot of videos on NASCAR 21 Ignition. I was looking forward to that game so much, but as you all know by now, it's been one of the worst video game releases ever. And it's definitely the worst NASCAR game ever. Just based on what it could have been to what it turned out to be. And now we are one month from the day this game was released. Okay? One month. And they are already selling it at a 25% discount. That's, an, that's amazing. This game shouldn't be on store shelves much less being sold at a discount this should be pulled off of shelves not because it's a bad game because it's a broken game this isn't just a bad game it's broken nothing works it's nothing but an endless game breaking experience the AI is the worst, one of the worst ever. It's just not any fun. And people are trying to make videos, they're trying to make content with this garbage, and it's such a waste of time. It's aggravation. I haven't been able to play it because my pedals don't work. Ever since they released a second patch, I can't play the game. So it's a blessing in disguise as far as I'm concerned. I've been watching other people's videos, it, it's I, I'm actually glad my pedals don't work because I would be going through non-stop aggravation. This is what I'd be doing to myself right here, constantly. I wouldn't have a forehead left. So it's it's just incredible what, what's going on. And this is the same company that told their investors that everything's fine that they have people defending the product these investors are not stupid if you think they're just going to listen to what motorsport games tells them and just be happy that they don't you really think they don't know the dumpster fire that this product is and and all the negative publicity investors are very uh well aware of what they what's going on where they when they invest money in something they don't just put blinders on this company i can't believe like how astronomically bad their decisions have have been just the decision to release this game in the condition it was in has to be one of the all-time worst decisions ever and I don't care about licensing. People can keep bringing that up all they want to. There's no fucking way I will ever believe that there's a gun to the head of these people. That a product that's this broken, this unfinished, that some anyone in their right mind would say, I don't care. Push it out the door. That's not how things work. And the reason that they made that decision is because they're used to. All these game companies are used to getting away with releasing shitty, broken products that people buy. They complain about it, but they still buy the next game. And that's what they're banking on. And this is why I focus more on the community. I want the community to finally stop uh rewarding bad business practices and change your behavior as a consumer start treating these fucking games like products just like buying a television or a computer whatever the case is when you buy a product and it's broken and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to you don't just buy the next one you you get a refund and unfortunately a lot of times, you, it's not always easy to get your money back. 
This is why you don't pledge your money to something before you know what it is. Stop pre-ordering. Stop. There is no need to fucking pre-order. These are digital downloads. You can get them any fucking time you want after the game is released. There's no need to pre-order anything, ever. When somebody is pushing a pre-order, you say, no thanks, I'll wait. Don't buy these games on release day either. Wait. Wait to see the game. Wait to see what other people say about it. What's so fucking hard about that? Stop being fucking children. Show a little restraint. You can, If you waited a fucking year for a game, you can wait an extra week. Wait to see the product. And what other people say before you say, okay, now I'll buy it. One week, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Once you start doing that, these companies are going to understand that we can't just release garbage anymore. We're going to have to step up our quality control. We're going to have to make sure that a product is actually at a minimum standard. Otherwise, nobody's going to buy it. If you do what, I, what I'm telling you, I promise you, things will get better. It may not get better for the next game, but it will get better for the, next, the game after that. One month after release, 25%. And they're telling their fucking investors that everything's fine. Their investors are not buying it. They know. So I... I really would love to know what's going on behind the scenes, but I can guarantee you that investors are livid. They're not buying this shit. You think they don't fucking check what's going on? No one, not one comment you received on your broken ass game is ever positive. Stop promoting the piece of shit. This is the kind, every comment is, is, is the same. It's this, everyone's doing this. This is one of the worst debuts of a, of a game company ever. How do you recover from, from this? How are they ever going to promote all of their next products? I don't know how they're going to do it. But I, this is why I focus on the, on the consumers. We, have, we can push things in a better direction, but we have to show restraint. I don't care what people tell you. Don't get all your news from one source. It's fine if you like what I'm talking about or you agree with it, but you should still check other sources. Don't ever get all your information from one source. Because you might just get your news only from someone who's telling you that Motorsport Games feels bad about the product. And how the CEO is a real down-to-earth guy and he likes to crack jokes. I don't give a fuck. They, they knew what this product was when they released it. So I could care less how bad they feel. They ripped people off knowing what this is. And the, the product is so broken and so unfinished that... They're not going to fix it. Everybody keeps asking, when is the next patch? The, the, the last patch just came out recently. Didn't really fix much. The caution comes out a little bit more now. It, it still doesn't work the way it's supposed to. It doesn't always come out. The pit logic of the AI is, is broken. This game is just awful. So... I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, just stop. Stop. No more pre-orders. And don't buy the game on release day. Give it one week. Is that so much to ask for? I don't think so. I don't think so. If you waited X amount of time for something, you can wait an extra week. At least then you'll know more about the product. You'll know is it, if it's worth buying. Um, in all fairness... 
we had the game for over a week before it was released. And people still ran out and bought it on release day. I shouldn't say ran out. They downloaded it on release day. I don't know what to tell you people. I mean, that's on you. If, if you knew all the things people were saying and you were thinking, well, they, they're going to patch it and you bought the game. We have to stop. That, that's, oh my God, this is so frustrating. I don't want, I'm so tired of talking about this stuff. That's why this is it for me. I'm not talking about this. I'm done with this game unless they come out with with a magic patch, which I've told you isn't going to happen. It's, we have to break this pattern. I'm tired, man. I'm so fucking tired. I got no energy for this. I can't. I, I just can't. Um, wow. Yeah. Those are my thoughts, guys. Uh, I look forward to your comments. Later.